so I'm thrilled to um, have gotten all of the requests that we that we did for another training, which is why we put this on, um, and then to see all of you here. So it's great to know that there are more companies that want to learn about this program and make use of it, um, and that is what we're here to do today. So uh, my name is Genevieve Sherman. I've met a couple of you, and I've spoken to many of you on the phone or emailed you. Um, I'm the manager of the CPACE program, and I am just going to make a couple opening remarks, sort of housekeeping, and then we're going to kick off the day because there's a lot of um, information to cover. Uh, so to begin with, I want to thank our hosts, Local 777. I don't know if they're in the room, but they posted a couple of these for us. And I also want to thank uh, the rest of the team at the Clean Energy Finance and Investment Authority, Will McAlpin, um, Wave Will McAlpin. A lot of you guys have been in touch with Will. He sort of um, takes care of contractor registration. So if you had any questions or have any after this, you'll want to make sure you get in touch with him. And Gladys Rivera, who's our senior marketing director, she's in the back, she put on this event and ordered us all coffee, so we thank her as well. Uh, you all have course packets, and if you wouldn't mind just flipping them open, I wanna quickly go through the agenda and let you know what's in here. Um, it's not homework, but they're all reference documents, and um, there, there is going to be a day, I assure you, three months from now in which one of you will call me asking me a question and I will tell you a page number in this course packet to go look at. So these are, these are good documents, um, keep them handy. M most everything you need to know about this program is in here. Um, so I just wanna go through this so you know wh what is here. First, you've got my business card, okay? So that is my email and contact information. Please make use of it. Um, we like to maintain close relationships with all stakeholders in the CPACE program. So if you haven't introduced yourself to me, please do it today in person or, or via email. Um, then you've got the agenda, which I'll go through in just a minute. Um, if you flip through this a little bit, you'll see in the front you have a couple of draft reports that look like, that look like this. Um, we're going to go over these after lunch. These are examples of the type of reporting, oh, there we go, reporting and analytics that um, you essentially have access to through being a registered CPACE contractor through our online platform, the Cepheia Data Management Platform. This is where we build all of our projects. This is the platform that will allow you to essentially run multiple scenarios on projects that you're developing um, to test them for cost effectiveness based on cost and pricing and different financing rates and terms. Um, so these are good to sort of keep handy. Um, and then as you keep flipping, um, and I'm sorry, I think some of these packets don't have paper to break this all up, so you'll have to sort of search for it. You'll see that there are slides, okay? So um, all of the slides from today are in this packet so that you can take notes, um, but after today's training, you will receive an email from me, and I'm gonna send you this whole slide deck as a PDF, okay? so. You're gonna have the slides, not to fear, but you've got them here in paper copy too if you need them. Okay, and then in the back of this packet, uh, I don't know exactly where you'll find the first page, but the document, the long document at the back of this packet are the CPACE program guidelines. Um, they start just after the slides, so kind of there's a blank page. Okay, it looks like this. It's about a 130 page document. This has all all you would need to know about the PACE program, okay? This lists the eligibility requirements for properties. This lists all of the technical standards that we're gonna delve into a bit deeper today. Um, it lists our underwriting standards, okay, the financial underwriting standards for CPACE. Um, there's a table of contents in here, so you can sort of find your way. But this is sort of the major reference document that you'll want to hold on to um, and, and refer to. All right, so flipping back to the front, to the agenda, let me quickly go over what um, the, the order of operations is today. I hope all of you are planning on staying the full day. That's our expectation, um, but if you can't, I can at least let you know sort of what, what's going to happen here. Um, the first is we're gonna do an overview of the program. Okay, just kind of going through what is CPACE, why do we think this is a great tool for you all to make use of, and the high level 3,000 foot overview of how do you submit applications for CPACE and get them, get them approved? Okay, how do you access financing on behalf of your customers? Then we're gonna take a little break and then we're gonna kind of dive into the, the technical standards. And what we like to do at these trainings 
is just to give you a deep dive into kind of the, the basic components that comprise the technical application for CPACE. This is for the most part going to be your responsibility when you submit projects. Um, you guys are gonna be working with the technical administrator team, which are all speaking today. You're gonna get to know them very well. So this is a way for them to give you an introduction and kind of what their expectations are when you submit applications. So we're gonna start on describing how to establish a valid energy use baseline, okay, for all scenarios that you're dealing with, how to access um, utility data through the Green Button Initiative, and what we're looking for if you're using any kind of software to model an energy baseline. Um, we'll then move to submitting a proposal, okay, how you identify projects, what you need to know, how you submit it, and then um, we're going to have lunch, okay, which will be served here, uh, but we'll take a break. And then we'll jump into the Cepheid Data Management Platform, okay, and we're gonna demo that live here for you um, so that you understand how this platform works, how to collect data, how to get it up online, um, how to develop scenarios and sort of all of the various benefits of this tool that you can make use of. We'll then take another break and then we'll move into technical review. You know, once you submit all of this data, what are the CPACE engineers doing with it? What are they looking for? How long is it going to take them to tell you this project meets the requirements of the program? Um, and then we're going to speed right through to the end of the day, okay, so no second coffee break. Um, and I'm going to come back and talk a little bit about the financing. Um, what is CPACE financing? How much of it can you get? What restrictions are there on it? Um, ask any questions you ever had about CPACE financing. And then I'm going to end with giving you some examples of projects, CPACE projects. Um, we have the real um, honor of having just celebrated our first birthday anniversary for CPACE, which was a great event held at the Bushnell Theater which was one of the recipients of PACE financing last year. Um, and we, we brought all of the projects that accessed financing in 2013 to that event. So if you're curious about these posters, uh, these all represent buildings in the state of Connecticut that have accessed PACE financing to get projects done in 2013. So we want to be celebrating your projects a year from now when I've got the next crew of contractors in here. So please take a look at those, but I'm going to go into a bit more detail on a couple of them just to give you a snapshot of what a PACE project looks like and why CPACE can kind of kick your projects to the next level. All right, so a couple more things. I'd like to introduce our speakers. Um, there are basically just four of us. There's myself. Um, your free speaker is going to be Anthony Bonacore, Anthony Wave in the back. Uh, Anthony is the Managing Director of Bonacore Partners, which is part of Sustainable Real Estate Solutions. Um, Anthony is, has a background in both uh, commercial real estate, he's a professional engineer, so he's bilingual in real estate finance and energy. Um, we're very lucky to have him and you'll be hearing from him first. Um, our second speaker is Brian McCarter. Brian, can you wave? Okay, that's Brian McCarter. And Brian Bursteiner, is Brian here? Okay, Brian Bursteiner. Um, Brian McCarter is the CEO of Sustainable Real Estate Solutions. They are the architect of the Cepheid data management platform, and they also administer that data platform. Um, they're pioneers in their field of energy data, what you do with it, how you use it to build projects. And when you submit your first PACE project, if you haven't already, uh, you will be working very closely with Brian uh, McCarter, Brian Bursteiner, and their, their team. And then our last speaker is Tom Coughlin. Where's Tom? Tom is an energy engineer at Celtic Energy. Celtic Energy, um, as many of you know, is a Connecticut-based professional engineering firm, and they provide a lot of the engineering support for our technical review process. So thank you, Tom, for being here. 